I do have a copy of this video. I also spoke exclusively with the Lakota East student who appears to have had her picture taken and her mother. Now, for privacy reasons, they've asked me not to use their names. And also, the teenage girl's face has been blurred. Video obtained exclusively by WLWT shows Lakota School Board member Darby Bodie walking a hallway inside Lakota East High School. This part right here has at least one parent outraged. She took a picture of my child and lied. I have been personally and mentally destroyed by thinking, what did she do with my photo? What did she do with my child? Why is she doing it? Why was she allowed in the school? This happened in May. That my safety in that school was compromised that day. That could have been a gun just as easy as it was a phone. District leaders said Bodie ignored safety procedures when she entered both Lakota East and Liberty Early Childhood School unannounced. They even had police issue her a no trespassing order. We were at Bodie's home seeking comment when it was delivered. Bodie declined an interview that day, but wrote on social media the purpose of her visit was to get an understanding of what was being taught in our schools. Through a public records request, WLWT obtained some of the photos she took, which include a civil rights timeline, artwork of rainbows, and children's drawings that say, all are welcome. Bodie also wrote on Facebook, I was not photographing children. This parent says this video clearly shows that's a lie. There should be no photos of my child on her phone. She stated she did not take any photos <laughs> of children, but clearly that is not the case. She took a photo of my child. In a statement released to me today, a Lakota spokeswoman said, we immediately reviewed security footage after Mrs. Bodie left Lakota East. It appears that she only photographed one student during her unannounced visit to our schools. This entire situation is upsetting and we certainly understand the stress our family has endured. I want the better good for Lakota. I want my child to feel safe in school and she will not return to Lakota. I've made that very clear. As long as Darby sits on the board, my child will not return to your district. And the district says it can't speculate on why Bodie may have been taking the photos, but the family says maybe she thought the teenage girl violated dress code. Now, I do want to point out, before this incident, there was another incident where board members asked for Bodie's resignation. It was after she says she inadvertently posted a link to porn on her professional page. Uh, there was a petition, though. That's, a, that's the strongest action a board could take. So now parents are circulating a petition to try and get her removed. I did leave several messages with Bodie today, but I have not heard back. Reporting live tonight in Liberty Township, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.